Hey guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button, you guys. Join the Cuddle Bug family. That sounded kind of corny. Maybe won't do that again. But join the Cuddle Bugs. <laughs> please hit subscribe. Please hit the like button if you like this video. And um, <clears throat> if you are one of my returning viewers, thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart for being here. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. You guys add so much to my life. You cannot imagine how happy I am to be able to spend time with my Dolly family. Anyway, you guys, today we're doing a few things um, that are going around here in our lovely community. We're going to be doing Pickle Week, which is hosted by Tammy over at Tater Tots Nursery. Now, she has a co-host this week, which is Lisa over at Lisa's Littles. I am going to tag both of those beautiful ladies in the title of this video. So, yes, once again, Pickle Week is here. And this time it has a... Uh, fun uh, this or that tag attached to it. So we're going to be answering those questions. So stick around for that. Um, and here to celebrate Pickle Week are um, two sweet little babies here, one of which you have never seen before. So, but before I introduce him to you, let me tell you guys this girl's name. So I got her, I believe I introduced her to the channel last week. She is a, uh, she is a replica of the Saskia cult. Um, did I say Saskia cult? <laughs> she is a replica of the Saskia sculpt. And uh, I got her off Makari. I made her into a girl. I absolutely love her. But I asked you guys to help me name her. And Shay um, won. Uh, Shay, I believe your channel's name is Shay Oh So Blessed Nursery. Now, if I'm wrong about that, please correct me. <laughs> I'm going to have the right name in the description of the video. But Shay picked the beautiful name Janaya. So I want you guys to meet the sweet baby Janaya. She is so pretty, you guys. I really have a hard time believing she's a replica because she's actually, she is, she looks as if she's artist painted. But I know a lot of these replicas lately do look really, really good. So yeah, but she's, she's stunning. I absolutely love her. Anywho, now this guy, this guy who you have never met, I want you guys to meet Baby Pickles. I said I was going to have a baby in my nursery that I would actually name Pickles, but this is Sweet Baby Pickles. He's, he's so cute. So I adopted him <clears throat> from Tori over at Tori's Reborn Babies. Um, her family was going through a pretty tough time after the hurricanes and she did have to sell some of her beautiful collection and I adopted this sweet boy. He is a Behringer baby that she, um, customized. He's, uh, one fourth limbs. He's one fourth limbs and he's got a cuddle body. He's weighted. He's super cuddly. He is adorable. Um, and I decided to name him Baby Pickles. He's in the little outfit that she sent him in, which is this super cute little Halloween outfit. It's got little jack-o'-lanterns on it. So both him and Janaya are also doing Cozy Tober, which is my tag that I'm doing for the month of October. So they're both dressed in warm, cozy outfits, and they have their pickle jar. That's right, the pickle jar pillow from Tammy over at Tater Tots Nursery. She sent this to me as Happy Mail, and I love it. So here is Baby Pickles with his pickle jar. Janiah likes pickles too. In fact, before I turned the camera on, they were fighting because they thought this was a real jar of pickles, and they were trying to twist off the top, and they got into a little bit of a kerfuffle with each other. They were kind of biting and smacking each other, I had to intervene. And I promised them that when we're done filming, 
I will give them an actual pickle. So anyway, you guys, let's move on to the tag. Uh, this tag is for Pickle Week. Um, and I believe Lisa from Lisa's Littles is the one who came up with this tag. So without further ado, let's get started with the tag. So fall movie or football? This is a no brainer for me, fall movie. I don't like sports. I, <laughs> I have, I have some fond memories of being in high school and being on the, the bleachers on a, on a cold night, you know, and eating hot popcorn and watching you know, the, uh, the, the football player that I had a very, you know, unfulfilled, um, never ever, um, uh, fulfilled crush on play football. I remember that, but now as an adult, I, I just don't like sports. So fall movie for me all the way. <laughs> so Coco or tea? Um, Coco. I am not a big fan of tea. I do like iced tea. This is probably referring to like a hot drink, like a hot tea. I don't get into hot tea, you guys, unless it's like um, chai. I used to really like hot tea. Like I used to drink it all the time. And then after I had COVID um, last year and I lost my sense of taste for a really long time, um, now for some reason, I don't enjoy tea anymore. So I will have to say hot cocoa for this answer. And then it is pumpkin patch or corn maze. The idea of a corn maze is terrifying to me. Uh, when I was a teenager, uh, one of my friends had a huge cornfield behind his house. Um, I got lost in it at night. It was it was terrifying. So I'm going to say pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patches are happy. They're fun. You know, you can have a hayride. You pick some pumpkins. Whereas corn mazes are just terror. <laughs> so I've got to say pumpkin patch. Okay. Carve a pumpkin or paint a pumpkin. I, I, ooh, the feel of pumpkin guts is just, ugh. so I'm going to say paint a pumpkin, paint a pumpkin. Let's do that. Um, cozy sweater or warm flannel. I kind of like both. I like both. Um, I don't have a lot of flannel. Mostly I have cozy sweaters. Um, I'm wearing a sweater today. It kind of looks like it might be flannel with this whole like buffalo gingham. What is it called? I don't know what that's called, you guys. But it, it's like a gingham. It's it, Well, it's plaid, but oh, I'm going to stop talking now. Well, no, I'm not because I'm doing a video. But I do prefer cozy sweaters. <laughs> okay. Candy corn or caramel apple. I am one of those very strange people that loves candy corn. Um, caramel apples are good, but they do kind of hurt my teeth a little bit. So I, I do avoid those. Um, but I love candy corn. Um, I could eat candy corn every day. And I, I really like it when they come out with the different flavors. I had like a berry one last year that was really good. So my answer is candy corn. Last but not least is pumpkin spice or salted caramel pumpkin spice all the way um i like salted caramel i really do i love a salted caramel macchiato um super tasty but if we're talking fall it's pumpkin spice baby um chobani right now has a coffee creamer that's pumpkin spice and sadly i think they ran out at my local uh, grocery store i haven't been able to find it again <laughs> That was the best pumpkin spice creamer I've ever had. But yeah, I love pumpkin spice. <clears throat> so let me tell you guys about some additional tags I'm doing real quick, just so I can give shout outs to those channels. Um, since Baby Pickles here is a cuddle baby, let's shout out for Cena at Cena's Dolls for hashtag Cuddle Baby Monday. Um, let's shout out Josie for Oops, I Dolled It Again because of baby pickles here. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am going to let you go. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday and a great rest of your week. 
Um, just FYI, it is Renee who has the Toddler Tuesday theme. I will share her video later on today so you guys can pop over there. If you're not already subscribed to Renee, make sure you get subscribed. Um, so I will let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful Monday. So I love you guys. Take care. Take care of each other. And remember that you are beautiful. You're awesome. You're wonderful. And don't let anyone tell you different. All right, guys. Bye.